testosterone tuesdays on expresso today and i have a feeling we are going to have a lot of fun especially when it comes to the kitchen the people chef roy isham is in the house this morning and he's going to be giving us a very tasty um kind of you know uh, example of what we can make on a testosterone tuesday it's grilled pork rump and orange chickpeas roy good morning yeah, good morning Jean. you are kicking us off with a bang this morning i am and I decided to do this dish. Look, yeah. whenever we think chickpeas, we think vegetarian. Yes. Nothing wrong with veggies. Okay. All good. All right. But I'm just trying to, you know, us South Africans, we like our braai, we like our meat. Yeah. So why not combine chickpeas with a lacquer piece of braai? Oh, nice. Or a nice piece of meat. And how healthy this dish is. Definitely. You know, it really is so healthy. I mean, pork is a pretty lean dish. Okay. And pretty healthy too. So first of all, we just take out nice pork rump. We've got okay. good pork rump here. Ask your butcher for a pork rump. It really is a nice cut of meat. Okay, you know? fantastic. Okay. And we, of course, we're cooking for testosterone Tuesdays, and a nice piece of meat is also something that... Uh, oh, come on, testosterone. We want hey? to get going, you know, with a piece of meat. <laughs> that you we know? need. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> Let's get in there. Okay, first of all, the pork, we, we just want to marinate it. You know, we've got a little bit of ginger here. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle over. Rub it nicely on. Other side, too. Rub that on. Seasoning is, of course, very important because no one wants a bland piece of meat. Eh? Not at all. You know, and see, seasoning does so much for a nice, simple piece of meat. Yeah. That's as simple as it is. A little bit of salt. Okay. Marinate that. Put it in the fridge. You can put it overnight if okay. you want, or half an hour. It's fine. So that those flavors can infuse. There. Flavors can get right in there. Nice. This is one we have we had marinating for a couple of hours mm. now. So this is how simple it is. Okay. You know, and please. While you're cooking a piece of meat on the braai, make one of these to go with your meat. You won't, you, you won't forget it, okay? Very nice. So, so we're gonna uh, fry that up, um, grill that up, and we're then here we have up. some onions in our saucepan. And our sauce over here, simple chickpea sauce, guys, really. We just put our onions in there. You just wanna get them caramelizing. So put them in there, medium heat, wait till they go transparent, natural sugars come out, and they'll start browning, just nice. like you got there. Right after that, you want your fresh garlic mm -hmm. in. Don't ever put your fresh garlic in at the same time because garlic's got too much oil in, so the garlic will burn. Oh, That's why okay. we always put the garlic in afterwards. Okay, wonderful. So we've got that sizzling away, as you can hear. Mm, lovely. Diced tomato, you can use fresh tomato or the tin type. I prefer using the tin type because they're already kind of a bit soft. They cook a lot quicker. And if you're in a hurry, then makes more sense to use them. What I like about this pork that we've uh, put our marinade on is you can smell the orange. It's quite strong already. That it's beautiful. The orange is coming right around the it's room, isn't it? It's a beautiful hey, smell. It's amazing. Okay, into that pot, a little bit of chili. Nice. For some bite there, and then our chickpeas. And then chickpeas. These ones are already done. If you want to use fresh, you know, just soak them for a good couple of hours and then cook them for two to three hours. Nice. But there we go. Mix that all around nicely. Finally, a little bit of chicken stock. Mm. If you're a vegetarian, obviously you don't use this. Yeah. Put a veg stock in there. And simple, guys. Bring that to the boil. Let it simmer for about five or ten minutes just for the chickpea to heat through. Yeah. Tomorrow to get warm. Done. Very and nice. That. Very nice. Okay, this pork rump is smelling superb and looking good. There we go. That pork rump probably needs about another two and a half, three minutes to go. Three, four minutes on each side, so that's okay. perfect. All right. And is it something that you want quite to, you don't want to overcook it either, hey? No, 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 you do. I like pork still a little bit pink in the middle. Really, okay. But not everybody likes that. Yes. But try and cook it, you don't want to overcook it. Okay. Pork is full of moisture. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful meat. So you don't want to, you don't want to overcook okay, it, really. Okay, wonderful. So like you said, four minutes on each four side. Four minutes each side for a steak about that thick. Very and nice. then you're going to be 100%. Wonderful. And that's basically how simple the dish is, guys. This it. is one we plated up literally seven minutes ago. And there we go, plate it up, good bit of bread with Delicious. it. Delicious. Little micro salad on the side, pork rump, chickpea sauce. Now that is a man's it. meal right there. Your keyword this morning is pork. SMS that to 33728 and we'll send you your shopping list and the link to the recipe. And you could be making this Testosterone Tuesday delicious dish yourself. Grilled pork rump with orange chickpeas. That looks good. My tummy's rumbling. That'll get you going. You know what? My, my, my testosterone <laughs> levels might be low, but I'm going to get it on that. It's all yours. Roy, thank you so much for no, being with no, us. The people you. chef always welcome here on Expresso. <laughs> We're going to take a quick much. ad break. We'll be right back after this. I'm going to get in on this. Roy and I will share. Yeah? Here we go. Good. Bring it on. <laughs>